Hey guys, Intervention 302 here. It's Kevin, how you doing? So today's my day off. I really wanted to try to go shoot an exhaust video on my dad's new 2020 GT500. I was hoping to get a comparison with his uh, ZR1 as well to see which one was louder on cold start and this and that, but you guys know how it is. When it's your only day off a week, the weather usually seems to uh, not cooperate. So. I'm sitting here at the house thinking what I could do and uh, I've been trying to upload a little bit more footage lately and I've been getting a lot of questions on either what wheels of the car are on, what offset, what springs and instead of trying to um, reply individually I thought I'd just shoot this video for you guys, try to tell you a little bit more about the car aesthetically and then include my two latest photo shoots. I'm not what you would call a professional photographer. Honestly, I'm, I'm just an amateur. Shoots. But I, usually I only upload them to Instagram, but I figure, you know what? Maybe I'll put them up here. Hopefully some of you guys will enjoy it. So spring-wise, it's on Eibach Pros. I have only the lower ISOs in both, up front and out back, I only have one. I actually bought the car with the springs in it, so they've probably been in the car for like 16 years now. Um, the front sits just a little bit higher than it did back in the day because I actually had to add the K-member spacer. When we did the Whipple Crusher, some people say that it's actually not gonna clear your hood. Now, interestingly, my old supercharger actually did hit the hood all the time. It's kind of funny that some people have clearance issues, like you can see a little rub mark there as well. Some people have clearance issues and then you read other people don't have clearance issues. So I kind of wanted to play it safe. I did put the half inch K-member spacer in. It has the Steeda K-member in it now. I'm not sure if you guys can see, see it, but it's not super important. That doesn't really change the outside look of the car. So anyways, the K-member actually the K-member spacer, I mean, does lift the front end of the car a little bit up. I actually don't mind, don't mind it. Um, so it is what it is, sort of. Also in the front, we have the Bear 6P big brake kit. This is on their upgraded 14-inch rotor. It's actually a two-piece rotor design. So what that means is the inside of the hat is aluminum. And that actually helps save some weight. I actually think these rotors, even though they're more than an inch larger than the factory size, I think they're actually lighter than the factory ones. So that's a really nice bonus. The fronts so, are 18 by nine and a half. I have a 275, 35, 18, R888 up front. I really like having a sticky tire up front. You know, um, what's the point of putting a big bait kit on the car if if you slam the brakes, they just lock the ABS up because you got a not a performance tire up front. In the back, I'm running a Toyo TQ. This is in a 315 35 18. This is actually my favorite tire on the car. Yes, they don't look quite as good from the back as the R888s do, but I really feel these tires hook up better. Um, I really don't have traction issues. And with the 330, I'm sorry, with the 315, 35, 18 size, it actually gives the car a little bit more rake. It lifts the back end up a little bit and helps gain a little bit of um, clearance underneath. In the back, I used to have the Cobra uh, bumper stickers put in. I got rid of those, so it's just, just the bear, how it comes. I did add that a little bit. I've had the license plate frame for a while. The exhaust is the Bassani 3-inch. I'm pretty sure it comes at 4-inch tips. I do like it a lot. And that's really about it appearance-wise on the outside. Hopefully that information can help you guys out. And if you do have any questions, don't be afraid to leave me a message. And for now, I'll add in some of my latest photo shoots. Hope you guys enjoy.